What's up everybody, this is Eric the Tech Preacher. So I know this was gonna happen. I've been making a lot of videos about updates. Galaxy phones, LG phones, legacy phones, as far as the, uh, uh, the Samsung Galaxy Note uh, 10 Plus and the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra, the Galaxy S21 Ultra, uh, the LG B60, all getting updates, Android 11. So people hit me in the comments, say, easy. What about Sony? What about Sony? I got the Sony One Mark II. A $1,200 phone. Is it getting any TLC? Let me give you my thoughts. Sit back and relax. Get your popcorn ready and follow me on this journey. Let's go. What's up guys, this is Eric back with another video. So I got the Sony One Mark II here, right? And I made it, I've been making a lot of videos about this device. I really like it, but how about the support? I mean, we look, we got uh, you know, the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra support. We got the LG V60 Android 11. Uh, we got the Galaxy S21 Android 11. Uh, month after month, Samsung is on the roll. And look at the LG, the LG V60. Got Android 11. So a lot of people ask the question, what about Sony? This over $1,200 phone, has it got any updates? So this, the Sony One Mark II was released in May of 2020, May of 2020. Now me recording this video, we are in March. All right, the specs. We know that this phone has a beautiful 6.5 inch 4K display on this one, right? Snapdragon 865 processor, we got eight gigs of RAM. 256 gigs of storage, we got SD card support, we got a headphone jack, we got awesome cameras, we got a 4,000 milliamp battery in here. And not only with the cameras, it's all good. I mean, we have a lot of pro features on this device, but the price, $1,200 for this device. Now, yeah, you could get it a little cheaper, but at retail, when this phone came out, it was $1,200. So when you're paying $1,200 for the phone, you looking for that support. You're looking for the updates. Listen, I think you deserve the updates. You looking for updates. Guess what? Let's talk about updates. All the Galaxy devices, Samsung been updating them every month. They been promising you three years of updates. They been sticking to their promise. Samsung been sticking to their promise. Three years of updates. They giving it to you. Man. The phone's running good. Samsung on the roll right now. Guess what? Even though we hear the, the debacle about LG, the LG V60, the LG V60 got Android 11. This phone, this is the Sony One Mark II. This device does not have Android 11. This phone haven't been updated in months. Um, this phone is running Android 10. No, uh, November, November security patch on here. November, this phone haven't been updated since November. All right, so I'm gonna pause for a second. Uh, the Sony guards must have heard me complaining about support and software updates. And as of me recording this video, I just received Android 11 on the Sony One Mark II. That's amazing as I was recording this video, complaining about software updates about this device, it automatically just popped up on my phone. So yes, I just received a 1.1 gigabit gigabyte uh, update for my Sony One Mark II as of me recording this video. It's amazing that this happened. So what I'm gonna do is uh, I wanna update it and uh, give you my thoughts about it. Now, I don't know anything about any new features or anything with this device. Uh, I'm just glad to see uh, that Sony did, must have heard my call about me being upset about the Sony One Mark II and the update. So let me go on and let it update and I'm gonna give you some commentary before we end this video. All right guys, so the update is done and literally I, the phone been updated maybe 10 seconds. So I don't have all the information of what's new and what's not new. Uh, I have to do further testing with the device to give you guys more concrete information. But uh, I got Android 11 on the Sony One Mark II uh, as I was recording the video about my uh, me being upset about the device not getting any support. So let's go on and go in the settings and, and I'll let y'all guys see uh, the update itself. So I'm gonna go into 
uh, the system settings right now is saying that uh, it's on uh, Android 11, uh, which is really nice. We could go to about phone. All right, so here it is. Uh, I, I'm in about phone. I got Android 11. Uh, I have February 1st, 2021 security patch. Uh, also with the Google Play system update, it's on January 1st. Uh, so it is on January 1st as far as the Google Play system update, but the security patch is February 1st. The Sony device has always been a, uh, a stock Android pretty much device. So you won't see any mind blowing stuff uh, as far as new features. Uh, you know, one of the things that Sony always focus on is the cameras, right? The pro cameras, the cinema pro and stuff like that. Now, one of the biggest concerns that I had uh, with this device is that the consumer camera app wasn't that great. So hopefully with this update, and I got to do some testing that the consumer app will be better than it was before. So here it is, you got 4K, you got 2K, 4K resolution here. Uh, if you want to shoot in the pro app, and obviously you, you can shoot in 24 frames per second, and you can shoot 60 frames per second in 4K. Okay, so uh, in the Cinema Pro app, look like we have 60 frames per second in 4K. Wow, okay, so that's, I don't believe I saw that before. So you could do slow-mo shots in 4K in the Cinema Pro app at 60 frames per second in 4K. Wow, so I definitely got to test that out. Uh, I did not see that in the Consumer app. So let's look at the Consumer app one more time and uh, don't show that again and go to your video settings. Okay, so in uh, video settings in the consumer app, you do not have 4K 60 frames per second. Uh, but uh, looking at the Cinema Pro app, uh, I'm seeing 4K 60 frames per second. I usually shoot at 24 frames per second, but uh, I do see a 60 frames per second. I don't believe I saw that before. So that may be new. Uh, I would dig a little deeper and see if you could shoot 60 frames per second in the Cinema Pro app uh, with the Sony One Mark II before the update. But looking like you could do it uh, after the update of uh, 60 frames per second at 4K so you can get those slow-mo shots. So you're gonna see a lot of content coming out with this device. I'm really eager to use the Cinema Pro app and to see how the 4K 60 frames per second will work on this device as I do slow-mo shots. This is Eric the Tech Preacher. Bam, the Sony gods, they definitely heard my call as I was making this video because they updated the phone in the middle of me making this video. That is pretty neat. The first time that ever happened uh, on this YouTube channel, but hey, it is what it is. This is Eric. See you guys on the next video. Peace.